up you guys welcome back to the channel if you guys are new be sure to hit that like and subscribe button in today's video we're going to be working on the 8th gen si we're going to replace the headlight brackets and defender brackets with that being said let's get into today's video let's go why I'm going to replace these brackets is because if you saw in those last clips you can see that the hood sits crooked compared to the grill so that's why I'm going to be replacing those brackets to get access to those brackets you actually need to remove the front bumper and if you guys are wondering how to remove the front bumper I actually have a video where I go into more detail and I'll be sure to leave a link for that Honestly, you guys, it's very simple to remove the front bumper on these cars. It's just two screws on each side of the fenders, the two screws that bolt in for the grill, then some clips on the side where the headlight goes, and then if you have splash guards, remove the clips for those. And if you have fog lights, don't forget to disconnect them like I did. check out and join the channel's exclusive membership if that's not your wheelhouse you can also leave a super thanks which is a one-time thing and directly helps the channel one other way you can help is by hitting that like and subscribe button for free anyways let's get back to the video let's go we have the bumper removed we need to remove the headlights so starting with this 10 millimeter bolt and then we move to the top there's these two bolts that we need to take off and before i forget we also have to remove this fender bolt to have some wiggle room when removing the headlight and then finally this final bolt that's all the way in the back so enough said let's remove these headlights Let's repeat those steps again with the other side. got both headlights removed we can check out the parts that we're going to be replacing have both brackets for the fenders and then the other two brackets for the headlights everything looks good so let's get to it to remove the fender bracket it's very simple just remove the screw and after that you can pry it off by releasing the three clips very 
very simple. Take your time, wiggle out the clips, and by doing that to both sides, you'll be able to release the brackets with ease. that it's three clips you need to worry about this first one that you pinch to release the second one that you release from the front and then the third one you just pinch it and push it out and I just like to make sure both parts are the same and everything looks good install the new ones it's very simple just make sure you line up the clips then you clip them in and don't forget the screw Almost done, just need to do the other side. Then we can replace the headlight brackets. All right, you guys, so now we can finally remove the headlight brackets and it's very simple. It's just one 10 millimeter bolt. Once you have that removed, you can pretty much remove the headlight bracket. It's really that simple and to install the new one, it's just as easy. see why I'm replacing the headlight brackets the old ones are rusty and right here where that 40 angle is you can see that it's crushed compared to the brand new one so like I said the headlight brackets are very easy to install just line up the pins and insert that single 10 millimeter bolt And we just have to do that one more time with the other headlight. Then we can get everything buttoned up and ready to go. we can start putting everything back together starting with the headlights we can begin by installing all the bulbs once we got them all connected we can try to insert the headlight once we got the headlight in we just gotta bolt it down I'm 
not sure if I mentioned this earlier, but if I didn't, the headlight has four bolts we need to fasten. side to do Once we got the headlights securely bolted in, we can finally install the bumper. Finally, we can reinstall the front bumper. sure to hit that like and subscribe button and with that being said i'll see you guys next time peace out